I'm Gracie Tight from Pony Nuts and welcome to my first video for the FEI. So today I'm going to be showing you around my yard and let you guys meet my horses and find out a little bit about them and also learn a bit about me as well. I'm an equestrian content creator who has been sharing my journey and adventures with my horses across social media on Instagram, YouTube and TikTok since the end of 2014. Chances are, if you haven't come across my channel before, you won't know my horses. So let's go and meet them. So these are our lovely stables. We're very lucky to have these. And for me, it makes it much easier because I'm still at school. I'm 16 years old and juggling horses, schoolwork and having a social life as well is really tricky. But to have such lovely premises at home, we have a menage as well, it really does make it so much easier for me. My mum is also really helpful. She comes from not much of a horsey background, but she loved horses from a very young age, so that has definitely passed on over to me. She helps me around the yard when I have added schoolwork and when I want to see my friends, but I still do a lot around the yard as well, and obviously I ride the horses too. So speaking of horses, let's go get them in. So this is Danny. Danny is the original pony from my Pony Nuts account. He is 20 years old now and I got him when I was 11 and he has just been an utter legend all round. You know, he's still got his cheeky moments, but it wouldn't be Dan. <laughs> okay, come back Dan. But it wouldn't be Dan without him having his special Danny moments. <laughs> so, so Danny has basically taught me mostly everything I know. Um, <laughs> he is very opinionated and he knows what he wants, but that does mean he also knows when there's a camera watching, he knows when it matters the most, and that has meant he has had some amazing achievements with me over the years. I think I'm boring him, but <laughs> he doesn't want to hear about all his successes. But just to name a few of the, my most proud moments with him, um, he was NCA County Champion in show jumping, in 2017 and then he went on to compete for England um, in the English Schools Nations Cup and he went double clear in that and was second fastest and helped England to come second. He was absolutely amazing, he didn't have a single fault that whole championship. He also was double national champion at the British Riding Club Champs at Lincolnshire in 2017 where he uh, won the pairs dressage and then the team also won the riding test and Danny was second in the riding test. So that's just the name of you. We've had lots of other fun times. We, we've done a lot of pony clubs together, riding club and also NSCA as I said. Um, he also helped our pony club team to win the Gosling Cup, which is our area big pony club event. It was the pony club's first time winning it in 20 years and Danny also won it individually in his arena. That was probably one of the most amazing days ever. So throughout our time together there has been lots of fails as well and ever since I started the account I made sure I posted all the fails as well as all the amazing times we had together and I think people really like seeing the genuine side to um, horses and the real side to it because it's so easy to just post all the really good things happening and forget that actually we are all human and we all do make mistakes and that's what makes us grow and makes us learn. <laughs> so Dan was really my first proper competition pony and for that reason, we really promised him that when he got old and he retired, we would keep him forever because he means the world to me and he did actually teach me everything I know really. So he's now 20, he's retired now, kind of semi-retired. I ride him occasionally to keep him happy because he loves it and I think he'd be very bored without the occasional ride. So we just go on the occasional hack. As you can see, he's very happy and very much adored by us all and still adored by everyone who follows my account on Instagram and YouTube. I'm going to let Dan enjoy his hay now and we're going to go see the other horses. I'm here with Bella now and Bella is my five-year-old British warm blood and I've had her about eight months. She's my first proper horse since I've come off ponies and I'm hoping to event her about BE100. She's very sweet and very lovely and that's actually the first time 
um, in a really long time I've had a mare. The last time I had a mare was when I was really young and we just had a pony which I was learning to ride on. Um, <laughs> and now this is Bella here. And it's been really nice to be developing a bond with her, especially recently, and to get that kind of different bond that you get with mares and you do with geldings. So she's very different to ride to any of the others, but it's been really nice to be able to document kind of the transition onto horses um, since I've had her, as if we're lucky enough to get a horse, and we all experience that, and the transition onto horses is notorious for being a little bit tricky. Um, yeah, and it's just been really nice to document that and show everyone that they're not alone, and it's okay to feel like it's not always going your way, because it is tricky, and it has definitely been a journey, and I'm sure we're going to have some rough patches coming up as well soon. So let's go see Johnny. This is Johnny. Johnny is my four-year-old Connemara who I bought from Ireland last year. The Connemaras are a breed that really do have a special place in my heart. My last pony who was sold at the end of last year was a Connie and he was called Prince and I vented him up to BE 100 and he was amazing. Danny's part Connemara. One of my first proper ponies were called Horace and he was also a Connemara and we lost him sadly but they are such an amazing breed and that was one of the reasons I really really wanted to go to Ireland and buy myself a blank canvas of a Connemara which I could produce myself and put my own mark on. So at the beginning of last year my dad got me a Christmas present and, and it was two plane tickets to Ireland so we could go and use some Connemaras over there. <laughs> I did a lot of research and I found about 12 ponies to see over a weekend. Interestingly enough, Johnny actually wasn't one of them, but when we arrived at the yard, there was this little head poking out of the stable, and I knew immediately he was the one. Um, he'd only been ridden a handful of times, but as soon as I sat on him, I was like, this is the one for me. He has a lot of personality. He's by Silver Shadow, which is a breed which has produced, uh, who is a stallion, who has produced lots of FEI eventing and show jumping ponies. So I'm really hoping he can make it in the world of eventing. We're going to start our um, affiliated career next year, hopefully take him up the levels in grassroots and see how it goes, and then also do some working hand to whip him. We've been told he's got really nice confirmation. He is a very cheeky boy, very sweet. Um, he has really come out of his shell and I've absolutely loved producing him and having bought him my and having bought him with my own money, he really does mean a lot to me. And seeing him grow up and mature every day and every ride, it really is something special. So when we were in Ireland, we didn't just come back with Johnny. We also came back with another pony, which was completely unintentional. But let's go meet him now. <laughs> so this is Rocco. Rocco was definitely not meant to come home with us. But these things happen and he is adorable, as you can see. Basically, we went to this tiny yard in the middle of nowhere in Ireland and as we went down the driveway, this face was poking out of the stable door. Mum saw him and was like, immediately attached. These two are best friends. So we called up Dad we were like, look, we found this dumb Connemara in Ireland. He was a colt, he was two years old, he's not bad. So he was nothing like what we were looking for. But I think Dad knew that Mum hasn't had a horse in years. She doesn't ride anymore. But I think Dad knew that these two were meant to be. So we brought him home and he's just spent a year and a half chilling in a field and now at, and in a couple of months time I'm going to be zapping him. He's very cute, he's done a little bit of in-hand showing and he actually qualified for the Royal London show as well. He has been learning some tricks which is very cute, he knows how to smile and paw as well and he's very very intelligent. Nothing phases him, he's as cool as a cucumber so hopefully he's as cool as he is on the ground to ride. I'm really excited to share his journey with everyone right from the very beginning. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the FEI channel as well because Theo and I will be making lots more videos in the future for you guys so you guys can follow my journey on here as well. If you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And also, let me know which of the horses is your favourite. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!